Hello, my name is Ashley Danbecker and the movie that I chose is called Rising Phoenix. It is about Olympics and people that, for an example, don't have legs, don't have arms. Um, some main points is the coach in the very beginning said, there is the paradise. The name of the paradise is Olympic Games. Um, London is their birthplace. Also, the country that created the Paralympic movement. It's also London is the capital of the world, they said, as well. Um, their competition is more of like a group competition than an individual competition due to the fact that there's people that help them to be able to go into the Olympics due to their condition. Um, one of the definitions in chapter three was um, that I was thinking about while watching the movie was still um, social coping, which one of the guys in there um, was born with no arms and his two older sisters actually were the ones to help him be able to do things that he could do without any arms to like teach him how to do like the use his foot and encourage him he can do this he can do this he can do this well his siblings were always climbing an apple tree and he really wanted to climb the apple tree one day his parents said go ahead go climb the apple tree <laughs> he did it he got down and he accomplished it the other um definition from chapter three is team and that is to like pay attention and one of the um they're actually all have to even though they have no arms and legs doesn't mean they can't focus can't hear they can pay attention that's how they actually learn how to do things um in the movie they do do like the olympics i was saying so they have to find a way to be able to do that kind of stuff with the condition that they have so they pay attention they listen to people they listen to advice some other cool interesting things about the movie um it was the 31st olympic awarded got um the city of rio of janeiro i think that's how you say it um also a cool fact that i um noted down while i watched the movie was italy doesn't say like italy people don't say bye they say see you later <laughs> also one cool thing um i said in my um essay was i kind of have a connection kind of don't have a connection um one of my friends actually was born without these three fingers and her two big toes and the, two, the toes next to her big toes due to her, due to her umbilical cord wrapped around them so they had to cut them off and now she has like these little nub things and she can still do everything even i mean she has these two fingers but she can still pretty much do everything well thank you for listening